This is a quick intro to Flow for Spring XD. After following the installation instructions, you'll end up with a UI that looks a bit like this. Very similar to the existing admin UI, but there's a few extra options here and there. For example, I'm in the Stream section, there is a Definitions tab, and something that's new is the Create Stream tab. This takes me to the Flow Canvas, where I can visually construct my stream. The three sections here, the first is the palette, which shows me all the available modules to build my stream. Hovering over any of them gives me detailed information about what they do and the options supported. The canvas where I visually construct it, and the text box provides a textual representation of the stream I'm building. So let's build something simple. The filter box lets me sub-select entries in the palette for jumping to them quickly. I'm going to build a very simple time log stream. You see as I drag them close together it shows that they're going to join up. And if I wish to make it more complicated, I say I forgot to add a transform module, I want to add it later. I can drop it on the pipeline between the two and it will insert itself in the stream. I can drag these around the canvas, but the traditional layout tends to work very well. Um, if I mess things up, just let's reset and I'll jump back to a traditional layout. You'll see the text box has updated to show the stream we're building. If I want to edit the module properties, I select a module and down below I get the properties view. They're in grey at the moment because none of them are being specified. If I start supplying values, these things will turn black and also the text box will update to show they're being filled in. Now the text box and the graphical view are kept in step automatically. So if I start working in the text view instead, say set this to 4, the next time I jump to the graphical view it's been updated. So whether I edit in graphics or text, they're kept in step. Sometimes I really want to work in text because um, I'm faster typing in streams and in those cases I can use the content assist in the text box. So here you can see I've typed in TI, that's a module that does not exist. I ask for content assist, it fills it in with the only available module that could be time. What options are there in time? Content assist tells me. Add in transform and log and I've built the same stream just using text input. Once I've built my stream, I just press create stream. I need to give it a name. And I can optionally choose to deploy directly here. I don't have to, I can deploy it later if I wish to. Thank you for watching.